Alrighty, so this is a bit of a departure from my usual channel fare of power tools and Lego and 3D printing and whatnot, but I felt like it was interesting enough to share. Um, I'm just going to try and record this in one go, minimal editing, so apologies for any ums and pauses. Uh, and there's an um. So the reason for this is to import Apple Cash transactions. So a little bit of background. I recently got the Apple Card, which comes with it, Apple Cash, and I kind of obsessively keep track of my finances using Quicken, and the Apple Card and Apple Cash are great, but they're a little bit limited in terms of integration with Quicken. So the Apple Card only lets you download a QFX, when your statement is due, you can't hook it up for live updating, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but you know, I can deal with that. But the Apple Cash option is even more limited. The only option is for downloading a PDF statement on demand. So you see here, you go to your wallet app, select the cash card, click on card details, and then request transaction statement, and then an transaction statement is emailed to the account associated with your Apple ID. It's really quite cumbersome, um, but once you do that, you end up with this PDF file, and I've gotten rid of all my personal information. It's my standard pseudonym there, and you you end up with this PDF statement that is useful to look at but not useful to import it any financial software and uh, so I wanted to make a way to import this into my uh, Quicken file and so one of my favorite things is Power Query and so I set about doing this and mind you that this is uh, only works with Windows uh, Excel, not with the Mac Excel, because the Mac Excel uh, lacks the PDF import option. Uh, that being said, I am on a Mac using Parallels, so you'll see a little bit of a switch back and forth here uh, between Mac and Windows. Uh, the kind of few caveats here, I tried to do this entirely within Power Query. Uh, I intentionally did not use any macros, no XLSM, uh, to avoid any concerns about data theft or malware, because anything that you download from the internet that you're putting your financial information into, you have to be careful it's not harvesting that and sending it somewhere else. Um, so with that said, I'm going to go through what I've done here. Um, this is all going to be available on GitHub at this link and I'll also of course link it in the description it'll be updated as um, indicated uh, right now of course this is my v version 001 uh, the initial release the uh, uh, as I make changes I'll up upload them to github um, again if uh, Apple or Goldman Sachs or whoever decides to change the PDF format uh, this will break um, and I've only tested this on my account, which is a U.S. account. I don't know that it'll work on any foreign accounts, um, foreign being non-U.S., uh, but, you know, might be useful for somebody. So enough rambling here. Uh, I have the instructions on here on downloading your PDF. As I kind of indicated before, this is the PDF that you get from Apple. So... Uh, you want to save that file to your hard drive. Uh, if you're savvy enough to use this file, I'm assuming you're savvy enough to save a attachment to your hard drive. And then in this parameters page here, or worksheet, you just need to paste in the full path to your PDF statement. Um, uh, you have to have the, you know, the full path, not just uh, the file name, because it won't be able to fi find it otherwise. In terms of general use, uh, I'll show you how to use that and then I'll go into some of the details. In general use, all you have to do is right click in this Apple Cache and CSV format worksheet and go to refresh and nothing's really going to change on the screen here because I had already imported it. 
but it now has it in a format that is uh, understandable as a CSV uh, or exportable as a CSV that Quicken can understand. It has date, description, original description, amount, transaction type, category, account name, labels, notes, etc. So now you want to export your CSV file in, uh, that you can then import into your financial software. So I'm going to go file, export, change file type, CSV comma delimited, save as, save it to a place where I can find it. It's going to give you a warning about uh, not being able to save multiple sheets. That's not a problem. All right. So I'm going to go to Quicken here. I'm going to say file import mint.com file. It's the SV. Import that. And you see it imported all of these transactions. I'm going to do sort descending here. The daily cash. And I've categorized them as rewards points because that's how I keep track of them. Um, I also have tags on here so that I can keep track of those. And then, but it's imported your debits as well. So you'll have to manually kind of go and change these if you want. But, and also when you import it this way, it just imports it into a whole new account with the file name. So I just drag these over to my Apple cache and then delete the CSV import and then go to Apple cache and then you can do all of your modification here. You can uh, you know, select them, edit, uh, do quick rules, you know, all the things you can do in Quicken. Um, you know, it's a bit cumbersome uh, in that Every time you do this, you have to make sure you're not duplicating, uh, excuse me, importing duplicate transactions because it uh, can't match them. Uh, but it's fairly straightforward in terms of the dates and whatnot. So it requires a little bit of attention there, but is much better than manually entering them. Um, hopefully at some point in the future, Apple makes this easier. But for now, this is a way to do it. Uh, I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet here and just show you some of the uh, guts of how this is working. So uh, it's all Power Query. Like I said, no macros. So if you go to Data, Queries and Connections, feel free to e explore these um, on your own. But I'll just open them up here. So again, I'm not going to go too deep into it, but it opens up the PDF. So I'll clean all transactions is the original one here. So I'm going to say source opens up the PDF using the PDF importer importer filters out just for tables, expands to all of the uh, table rows here, and then does a whole bunch of stuff to basically find the tables with transactions in them. It's using this function called clean multi-page table. Uh, under advanced editor, you can see the code there. Again, all of this you, you know, can and should look at just to make sure it's on the up and up and I'm, I'm not trying to steal your data. Go back here, clean transactions. Uh, so I added the index, filtered the rows, and there's comments on the code here if you really want to look at it. And ultimately ends up with the uh, transactions, but it's two lines per transaction. And so this function takes that and uh, merges them into one and does all the other cleaning stuff. Again, I invite you to click on Advanced Editor. I actually haven't commented this too much yet. I'll do that as I go along. So that'll be updated on the GitHub site. So 
close this it's going to load it again uh, probably but so that's the long and the short of it a you know fairly complicated <laughs> way to import apple cash transactions into your financial software uh, this video or uh, spreadsheet will probably become a moot point uh, when apple decides to make it a bit more user friendly but for now it's the way to do it that uh, hopefully won't drive you nuts course requires uh, excel for windows and a you know fairly solid knowledge of uh, computers and whatnot but again if you're insane enough to want to try and do this you're probably there already all right thank you